Hi everyone, this is Tim Komodo. Today we will talk about analyzing and modeling information diffusion using <coughs> social network relation prediction. And that's the name we are, we are working on the information diffusion, which means uh, how information spread within the network. And then we also want to discover the relationship because we think the relation will impact on how the information propagates. So we grab the information like cascade information, network structure, label information to predict uh, the relationship and also uh, calculate the transmission rates. And this is a graph about how the information propagates in the network. And you can see this uh, here is uh, several nodes here and uh, for the information from node zero can uh, propagate to uh, node one or two, but if there is some relationship uh, between the node one and node zero and the information will uh, prefer to transmit uh, propagate to the node one. And according to our milestone, uh, we will do the uh, literature survey before the midterm and also we need to do the modeling information diffusion between individual using information flow and my partner will talk in more detail. For the information diffusion, we propose NetRap with exponential model, which is the best fitting model for our social and hierarchical network. So given the survival function in which a node doesn't infect it from a cascade and hazard function when a node is infected, we can produce a network inference problem to minimize the log likelihood and predict a transmission rate between all the nodes using a convex problem. We want to observe a meme tracker dataset, which is some memes or quotes datasets gathered from web blogs. For this example, from dragland.blogspot.com having relationship or follows rhapsody.com because it has a hyperlink relation given this tag L. We read the meme tracker dataset using a Python script and ingest the dataset into SQL database and produce this table. So this table describe the relationship between domain follower and dom parents domain. After we ingest dataset, we extract the dataset to get our observation cascades. However, we can't use the NetRap algorithm for this dataset because uh, the observation nodes is very big. So we modify the NetRap to uh, focus on our observation network only, which is parent and child relation. Our first experiment is to predicting transmission rate between parent and child relationship. This example, the yellow nodes, says that uh, it, it has fast transmission. Then the, the gray node is having a slower transmission rates. Our second experiment is predicting transmission rate from children to parent. With this experiment, we can infer how strong the relationship between one child that having so many, uh, so many parents. To start the demo, we can go to this command line and run the script. Okay, it's running. And the result will be in this uh, file. You can check it. Ah. This is this is the, the transmission rate, rate between parent and child. Our second experiment is predicting a child to parent relationship. Okay, it's starting, and the result will be in here. Ah, this is the prediction for target node sixty one. There is a transmission rate uh, from their parent about this, this, and this. However, we found some uh, negative value here, which is a false negative relationship. So our next goal is to overcome the false negative negative uh, prediction from our NetRat problem and using the topic modeling. So within all the cascade, we can infer a topic about the cascade. For example, this one. For from B and C, there is a cascade about sport and it's propagate faster. While from A, there is a topic about food, which is a slower, having a lower relation within A and D. So uh, we want to use a topic modeling algorithm. Uh, we prefer use EM algorithm to cluster the topic, and with using the, the topic probability, we we will use that information to separate the topic and to predict different transmission rate between all this topic and improve the model. Therefore, we hope that we can uh, minimize the false negative prediction of the transmission rate. 